G'day mates and welcome back to Kaiserreich. Last time we left off, we had almost, almost managed to reach the Degrel, the Leon, the man himself, the man we're all here to see. And boy, I can't fucking wait. We get to imprison syndicalists? Oh boy. We get to fail a revolution, we get to sideline a king, introduce corporatism. Oh my god. Just wait for that final fucking focus. Oh baby. So we'll see in a moment why I couldn't actually find this the first time around and why I had to ask the dev for help. Um, so it's around, I'll say, I'll say for when it happens, right? To start with, we've got to make this government's gonna fail. Look at you, August. Get out of here. Get out of fucking shit. Haiti, what are you guys doing? Oh. What in the bloody hell is going on? Oh, it's, oh, it's this war. Oh no. Oh no. The worst of wars has begun. The war that never ends. I swear I never see who actually wins that war. Anyway, so here we go. We get to get the, uh... Oh, yeah, we go. So we invite the Catholics, and then we finish our government here. We get Catholics invited. We finish up forming our government. Which, again, is not actually going to be formed properly. Don't worry about that just yet. Just hold on to that feeling, alright? I know it's a bad one, but just hold on. We ain't done quite yet. I know you've got a bad feeling about this, but, uh, don't worry. Good old Leon's gonna be here to rescue ya. So, actually, that's a good point. I was gonna say real quick, how many... Do the Flanders really only have one division? No, okay, right, I was gonna say... I was gonna say, hold on a second, they've got, what? Five? Yeah, five all up. Alright. God. I can still see all of their arm... all of their armies, though. Yeah, because... oh yeah, because we're allied, aren't we? We're in... they're both in the Reichspack, aren't we? Yeah. If you just go Belgium, you actually have the choice to demand Luxembourg, and I think no matter what, uh, Germany always refuses. And as such, you get, um... What do you call it? Uh, you, you leave the Reich's Pact if you try and do it that way. Otherwise, you stay in the Reich's Pact. Uh, for like a... I, I think they give you this land, the Deutsche Wallonia? Um, and you... and if you argue for Luxembourg as well, then you, uh, then you leave the Reich's Pact. Anyway. Either or, it's a, um... It's a lovely little story to go down. I might actually... I might stream some of, uh, just normal Belgium. Because, like, the multiple paths you can go down in this game is so much fun. And I think seeing normal Belgium interacting with Amsterdam and, uh... Like, all the Netherland choice, uh, Netherlands choices and focuses and stuff would be really quite some fun. Of course, it'd be another bloody hour of reading the, uh, the light novella we had to go through at the start. Alright, here we go. Adapt the constitution. Basically, this just keeps buffing that one thing. So we're just gonna keep boosting this all the way up. It actually, it actually gets really good. So now we've got, uh, plus political power gain, pl uh, it's called negative, uh, consumer goods and negative factory output. But soon we'll get... Even better bonuses. We'll get minus 10 on the uh, consumer goods. Plus 15. Have they... I feel like they've muted this sound in order to make it more bearable. Anyway, Venice is gone. I actually want to do a Venice run. Because uh, Venice has their own bloody... Uh, what do you call it? Venice... Uh, focus tree. That's right. The Venetian focus tree. Oh boy. I just... Hmm. What's their choices here? They can, they can pretty much go... Riga's Romento. I assume that means like civil war, but in Italian... Yeah, I guess. I uh, yeah. I guess they can't really go socialist, can they? they? They pretty much have to go monarchy, or republic, or fascist, as far as I'm aware. Like you know, they're weird sort of fascist. Oh boy, this is um. Oh, I mean the good. The commies didn't win. That's a good thing. Looks like the kingdom might actually. W oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Last time I checked, didn't this guy have like a super creepy fucking face? Am I thinking of uh? Oh wait, no, the Commies Wars has just started. Oh, okay. Am I thinking of, uh, of, like, the Canadian guy? I might be thinking the Canadian's fascist. I, I just, I recall the Carlos Spain leader used to look really fucking creepy. And now he just has a very nice hat, and I quite enjoy it. <laughs> it's a very silly hat. Oh wait, shit, are you in the Aust- Wait, oh, okay, no, I was gonna say, I thought they were in the fucking Reichsback. No, it's the German troops inside of there we're allied with. Uh, I mean, we should probably go help or something, shouldn't we? Alright, here we go. So we need to reaffirm our Belgian claims. Then we need to lobby abroad. This is where I got screwed the first few times. So fun fact, it's only like a 30% chance that Germany says yes to your request for help against the uh, the Flanders. Basically what it means is if they say yes to your request for help, the Flanders don't get to call in the Reichspact and you can just freely attack them, pretty much, right? And I was like, cool, that's nice, but that doesn't lead me to De Grel. Oh, oh yes. So we're gonna have to save in just a moment, and then we're gonna have to manipulate the hands of fate. Uh, 
the sands of sands of fate, times of fate, something of fate, some sort of strange ticky clock of fate, the five speed of fate, certainly. And we're going to have to get Degrel into power. He's hoping that it's not like a rolled chance and it's just completely random. Also, I just noticed the whole Austrian civil wars kicked off. Apparently, what? Oh my god, this faction's just gone completely. What in the shit? Oh boy, so it's the puppets versus the Italians, and who else? Oh wait, no, the Italians are just at war with everyone. What the fuck? Um, oh, that's a little bit confusing then. So the Italians are at war with everyone, the Austrians are at war with the Hungarians, the Hungarians are at war with the Austrians and their puppets, and the- oh, and Italy. Sure, okay. That's just a confusing war. Let's just stay out of that shit. And instead, let's keep building up a... Do you want to go Grand Battle Plan? I mean, it's, it's nice digging in stuff. Oh yeah, we do have... Um, we should go Grand Battle Plan because we get huge bonuses to it. Going down one of our lines, don't we? Attention. Oh shit, I've just realized we should have been practicing our boys. <laughs> we need to get our Ardennes Jaegers really upgraded so they can, uh, they can fight in this war. I like how our main enemies can be the Flemish and they don't appear to own a single tank division, so... Good choice. We're really going to be uh, really just taking them on with those anti-tank guns we've got. Anti-tank guns are pretty much useless against uh, against all but tanks, aren't they? Oh my god, hang on. I just realized, oh, you can actually look at this now. Oh, fuck, that's great. Oh my god, they actually have a Wallonian bicycle division. Yes, fucking yes. Or I can make it look like a tank destroyer. Okay, here we go. So this is the part where we save up, we hope. Hope, hope, living on a prayer. We don't have a flag for some reason, I've just noticed. Lobby abroad. Okay, we need to prove to Wilhelm that we are capable of holding the lead region and that splitting up are detrimental to his greater vision. So, pretty much, Germany just has to say no. That's all we have to rely on. It's a 70% chance that he'll do it. Come on, Germany, you right bastard. Don't start the Veltkrieg before this happens, by the way, because I won't fucking join you. I've got more important shit to do. Good stuff. Wait, you're going... Oh, right, they're yeah, the market liberals now, aren't they? I do like how they do that. Like, Germany's actually got a pretty high chance of going democratic in this. Like, I, I shouldn't go authority. They don't have... There's no chance of them going syndicalist, is there? As far as I'm aware. Germany's tree is really not that big, is it? Look at this. This is, uh, this is... I mean, I guess this is a little bit nice, but... That's mostly, like, situational. It's pretty much just... Imperial structure. It's either... Oh, no, hang on. That's... The unions, isn't it? Hang on. Uh, what do we want to go here? Uh... Oh... School of Mass Combat? Wait, hang on, is, is, isn't that Leon de Grill anywhere here? How is there not? What is this? What the f- what do you mean I can't get Leon de Grill in my army as well? Alright, let, let's just get a Land Doctrine Theorist. Wait, no, he doesn't give us fucking- Oh, well, fuck that shit, that's terrible. Ugh. Um. <laughs> I kind of want to go- Wow, is- What is Bicycle Divisions? They just count as infantry, don't they? I was going to say, because I want to go Super Bicycle Division, but I don't think they count as motorized. Uh, hmm. I'm not really sure what to go with. We might go static defense. Like, attack is just so much worse than this because you get static defense gives you minus attrition and entrenchment speed as well. So strong. Maybe I'll just go school of maneuver. Sure. Get our division speeds way up there. Get our bicycles being the best ones in the world. No wackers. Gardevoir. Gardevoir indeed. God, these divisions are certainly something. We can whack two artillery in them, actually, and that'll make, uh, oh no, we can't. Fuck, what am I talking about? We can put two infantry in, but... We can put an artillery in another anti-tank, actually. Then that'd be <laughs> six infantry, two artillery, two anti-tank. What a strange fucking division. Alright, sure. I mean, we'll have soft, oh, sorry, heart attack out the arse, rather, but... That ain't really gonna matter for much when our enemies aren't even remotely stiff. God damn it. Alright. With higher hardness, we'll uh, suffer a few attacks, yeah, yeah. I've never been quite sure how this works. Oh, here we go. Send word for Germany. Come on now. The political situation is being stabilized and our economy is slowly recovering, yet there is much remains to be done. Flanders, which declared its independence during the Belgian Revolution, is still a rightful part of our country. However, T has fallen out of our sphere of influence and is now a direct member of the Reichspact. Only by carefully maneuvering our way onto the German political battlefield can we support their, uh, secure the support for their re reunification. Fucking Christ. Come on now. Please don't help me. Fucking Christ! Finally! Yes, there we go. Alright. The Kaiser has denied our request and expelled the emissaries who came up with the supposedly ridiculous idea. If we attack Flanders, we can be sure to feel the full wrath of the German behemoth. 
Unrest is already brewing in Parliament, with many seeing this as the first signs of weakness. We'll have to tread carefully to counter nationalist uprisings. Oh, baby, yes. Wilhelm has failed us. The government is failing. Oh, beautiful words. Oh, they've never been seen before. All right, let's uh, get up the economic direction. I'm just going to let events run out for a bit because I don't know. Yeah, downfall and stability. I believe the first, like, I don't think to, maybe we go down the ultimatum? Because, okay, no, we don't do this just yet because the government has not failed yet. So I assume we just need to wait for the government to fail. DeGrill is meant to pop up and start doing shit now, and I hope he will. I hope we will. Wait, wait, what the fuck? Do we just... Hang on a second, hang on, 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 hang on. Do we just get given this? Do we just... I'm not gonna say no, but... Wait, hang on a fucking second, this is more important! After the disastrous campaign to gather support against Flanders and failure to completely solve the syndicalist problem, nationalists are flocking to the banner of Leon de Grel! who promises Wallonia for Wallonians, and to make Wallonia great again, and a strong answer to syndicalism. Whilst the Liberals have already spoken out against his outrageous populism, the Catholics seem to be unsure about whether to speak out against him. Trouble is also brewing in the army where many have joined up to fight, uh, joined up to defeat the De Flemish, are disappointed by their government, and are requesting a stronger response. Arrest de Grel! No! Leave him be! He is a free man! See? He earned us Bastion. I don't know how, but whatever. Although de Grel was easily captured, that's he, he let himself be captured. Easily captured by our police force. This has caused massive outrage across the cities. Many see this as curbing the uh, of as curbing of freedom of speech. Okay. And Rexist propaganda is starting to appear on every street corner with small skirmishes occurring between police and members when caught. This situation is getting out of hand. Now there's nationalists. Wait, what? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh yes, even the universities support him. And you know when a university supports someone who's in the right wing, you've fucked up. The populist rhetoric of de Grel has spread far and wide and has become a breeding ground for students having trouble finding work after the Black Monday crisis. Peaceful protests are being organized on campus and our uh, streets are calling for its release and the creation of new jobs. He is basically the Nelson Mandela of fucking Belgium at this point. Disperse the crowds. Come on. Come on, de Grel. Come on, baby. You're almost home. Nepal, what the fuck is this? God, I actually need to. We're just so shit on the industry scale right now. We do need uh, support equipment, though. Okay, come on, come on, baby, come on back home, darling. Good yet? Did we get control of that? Or am I just? Am I going mad? I feel like we didn't have control of that before. Oh boy, holy shit! Hold on. In many of the smaller Kazan and uh, Kazanes. Troops conscripted specifically for the unification wars, Wallonian soldiers seem to be plotting against their German commanders. Disobeying orders and deliberately damaged military equipment seems to become popular pastimes amongst our young soldiery. Disperse these regiments across the nation where they can do even more damage! I like how if I don't do anything right now, there's just no way for me to like stop the grill, I don't think. Like, the events aren't giving me the choice. Wait, wait, hang on, what? The fucking Pope? <laughs> oh my god! No, who, who, which Pope is this? Which Pope is this? Hang on. Oh no. Pius. Pius the Twelfth. Are you actually- <gasps> It's the Paternal Autocrat Pope! It's the- Oh wait, no, it's not the Holy War Pope. This is the- Hang on, what- What Pope is this? I think- Are they both Paternal Autocrats? I feel like this might be the National Populist Pope. Anyway. Point is, the Pope has decided to interfere in the DeGrel case calling for clemency. It appears the supporter of Rex were able to reach the uh, Nutius, Nuntius of Mutien, uh, Egunio Pasilli, who contacted the Pope. Impressed by de Grel's devotion to God, the Holy Father has requested that our government grant de Grel clemency. It will be in our best interest to keep this request secret, as it may uh, cause severe trouble if it leaks out. Cardinal Mercier has offered to speak on behalf of the uh, on the Prime Minister's behalf in Parliament, denying the whole affair. Allow Mercier to go ahead. What is the bet that Mercier fucking shouts it out? He goes, the Pope said yes! The Pope said free de Grel! Yep, fucking called it! Oh boy. Although his speech was screened by the cabinet and given to him before the speech, Mercier decided to speak out against the government, questioning their resolve and explaining the palpable affair in its entirety. This evidently led to outrage in the Parliament with supporters of de Grel demanding his release and praising Mercier for his efforts in whistleblowing about the scandal. This is not going to end the way you think it will. Actually, it will, with de Grel in power. You fucks. This is so fun! Release de Grel? Yes! 
Yes! Yes! With popular opinion turning against the government and demand for DeGrell's release increasing by the day, we will soon be forced to decide whether to release him and hope that it calms down with crowds gathering in front of Parliament, or to keep him imprisoned and risk the people's wrath. The Minister for Internal Affairs, however, is pushing the Prime Minister to speed up the trial and have DeGrell executed before the situation gets out of hand. It's already out of hand because he's out of fucking jail, baby! Please, fuck everything up, DeGrell. You've got one chance. One opportunity. Do not miss it, yes! To avoid further escalation, the government has decided not to press their case against DeGrell and has dropped charges against him. Although this act served initially to stem the growing unrest, most of the damage has already been done. Pictures showing a frail and weakened DeGrell. No! They're fakes! Leaving prison. A front page news across the entire country. Rexus and the government are pushing for a motion of no confidence, saying the current government clearly doesn't speak for its people and should resign at once. DeGrell himself, in the meantime, has announced his candidature for Prime Minister and is helping to fuel the Rexus propaganda machine. A catastrophe. We are on 1% stability. Just you fucking wait, DeGrell. You'll take it over. Oh my god, it succeeds. Defeated in a motion of no, a motion of no confidence uh, by 103 to 75, the entire cabinet has reluctantly resigned and the government has fallen. Early elections have been called by the end of the month, while all regular government affairs have been ceased. It has already become clear that this is going to be a close election, with Rex appearing on the verge of becoming the largest popular uh, party in Wallonia. Okay, so, the DC speaks out in favour of DeGrell. Oh my god, it's gonna be great! Okay, what do we go for? Do we go for resource gains, more factories? This is actually pretty nice. I want to build a Cyclotron, that sounds fucking awesome. That looks like some nice steel, though. Uh, I still feel like we should probably go Cyclotron, because that sounds fucking funny. Uh, for now, though, let's get for the city factories, and we'll get down going this way. Oh, yeah, we've got plenty of steel going this way as well. Oh, wait, no? Art requires the German imports. Fuck! Hmm. Ha, hmm, ha, hmm. I feel like I kind of want the IBA. Sure, that, that, that sounds like a cool idea. Let's get that in here. Sure. Oh no, extraction. Oh, there's extraction of new resources as well. All right, let's get let's get this first, but then we'll go for two more uh, two more in the um, in the army rather. Perfect. All right, come on. I want to read more about Degrell. What awesome thing is he doing next? Come on, you know what's gonna happen. Gimme, 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 gimme. I want to read. I want to know. Here we are. Rex wins the election. Rex has become the biggest party in Wallonia, closely followed by the POB. Though Rex failed to reach an outright majority with support from DCS, working coalition has been established. POB and PL has called for a recount but have been turned down by the courts, with judge stating that Rex has won fair and square. <gasps> yes! DeGrell assumes control! Oh my god, he's here! It's happened! Yes! Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, his name is Leon DeGrell! And now my neighbors are gonna think I'm weird. I mean, weirder than before. Hi DeGrell, how you doing? <laughs> I like how we can now send in the army. Perfect. Oh, it's so sweet to see him again. Oh, I missed him so much. He's a guy, he's just, he's just the best, isn't he? Now, of course, we've got to go about doing the uh, the proper thing here, which is to replace all of our ministers with just Leon de Grell. Yep, perfect. Let's uh, actually let's let's start with you. Is that beautiful Prince of Terror? That that sounds exactly like what we need. Get Leon de Grell in here. We're not done until this entire fucking cabinet is Leon de Grell. Okay, so we've just gotten the government has failed. That means we need to start doing all of this as soon as our current focus is gone. What have we got right now? We've got weak grasp, which means. Hang on a second, do we actually have- Oh, we still have the constitution! No! <laughs> okay, nice. We got all the effects of the old government, but we didn't actually, you know, keep the old government. Nice. I like how Rex has two parties as well. There's paternal autocrats or national populists are both DeGrell. Increase in stability! Huzzah! See, DeGrells are already fixing things. Come on, guys. This is why you play with DeGrell. He's the best boy. Recruitable population goes up. Hang on, so recruitable population goes up. What else? Oh, J uh, Japanese war. I mean, we're not gonna join it, so enjoy. Uh, consumer goods go up, uh, political power down, factory output down, but then we obviously fix it by, okay, that gets, fixes the political power, that fixes the output. Oh, hang on. Our ideology has grown. Um, X, no, we're going to say we don't need this for now, because we'll get more of that, but what we don't need, uh, we need to save our political power so we can spend it on buying more Leon de Grells. 
Um, oh well, okay, that just that basically just gives us more political power. Oh, these are all 35 days as well. Nice. Okay, what does that go down here? That gives us political. Oh wow, that made, that's actually really fucking good. Holy shit. And then just a bunch of recruitable population. And then, of course, we demand Wallonia. Uh, sorry, Flanders. We are Wallonia. I'm confused. Help. God, he's so... Oh, just, just... Ah, oh, look at this boy. He's having... Oh, we still have all these battleships as well. Who's that? Okay, good. Fritz. Excellent. Oh, no, 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 This is obviously DeGrell's yacht. Pleasure yacht. Because you know he's a pleasurable man. You know a guy screaming like that. You know he's, uh... You know, he's a, he's a screamer, isn't he? Alright, put these guys away. The industrial. Uh, okay, let's put another artillery in and another anti-tank, because this is a fucking stupid division. Uh, let's put some recon in these boys as well. Lovely. Oh. Mozambique, lovely. Tanganyika. Oh wait, that's, that's the explosion, isn't it? Yep, they've just expl- Oh my god, they've exploded. The revolution has failed. Let's get that out of here. Beautiful. And, oh, oh, it's it's amazing. God, I love Kaiserreich. God, it's just so good. Where do they actually exist? Oh, do they, com do they completely fail this time? Also, the Republic of France has gone Kingdom of France. Damn it, how are you not Napoleon? I think they've actually completely uh, disappeared. Is there actually Deutsche Middle Africa anywhere? No, I, don't, I don't think so, actually. Oh, shit. Well. No, yeah, Deutsche Middle Africa is just gone. Well, Goring's dead. Oh well, fucking rip the Kaiser. I should just leave your faction, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it until uh, until I actually figure out what I'm doing with uh, Flanders. Don't worry, I'll be gone in a moment. Grand battle plan, lovely. Can we keep building shit? We can keep researching shit. That's for sure. Just wait until we get the IBM. I'm sorry, IBA rather. Oh boy. Oh god, what have we got here? So that gets rid of syndicalists. I'm trying to find. Is there any? I think yeah. I think we just have to slowly increase our national populist. Uh, but I mean, if we get four DeGrells, that should just boost up super quick, which will be nice. What is this? Same month? Oh, that's pretty shit. Let's get DeGrell in instead, which means justify war goal time down. Oh, oh, DeGrell. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. And then this one just gives me infantry and support equipment at reduced cost. DeGrell, you want me to ride bicycles, don't you? DeGrell, how are you, how are you just the best? And the question is, do we go for John Hagemans, who is quite clearly a German soldier with a helmet on? Andre, who is obviously uh, not allowed to be seen in public, he has a hideous face, that guy, no one really likes him. Do go for Paul, who looks like he has a very, very small nose. Like, that, that looks like fake glasses on a man. You know those, like, these fake disguise glasses? That's an incredibly small nose, dude. Or we go for this serial rapist and slash or killer. I mean, probably, probably the and, to be honest. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, boy. All right, uh, let's sideline the king. Get that political power a booming. We're gonna get some uh, more military and some civvy. Beautiful. Finally, we can start building bicycles. Hi, sickles. Hi, sickles. Now we need anti tanks. So I'm actually gonna get rid of uh, infantry, infantry equipment for a while. There we go. Put that shit back in, and that can then come down to here. So there we go. We're gonna start building what we actually need for a bit. Should be right. Ottoman Empire calls for aid. We're not going to fucking help you, because you can go die in a hole. De Grille doesn't need to help the Ottomans. They're weak and shit and bugged as fuck in this version anyway. Actually, what are they? Oh, they're paternal autocrats. Okay, maybe, maybe I'd be nice to them. Except, how's your feds, mate? How's your feds? What's your name? Okay. <laughs> I was just just going to leave it there. Actually, what has happened around here? The Mashriki are not entirely gone. I never got why there isn't more like support for the Ottomans by the... Uh, by the Germans. I guess they're just like, eh, it's a failing empire. She'll be right. The Central Powers really don't bend together well in this game, do they? Alright, Serbian Republic to Curb War in Montenegro. Montenegro clearly going to win. Look at that. The two-tile mountaineer defense. She'll be right, mate. Don't worry. Oh, fuck. What's happening? Oh, the Russian state is justifying. Oh. Oh, no. That's not good. Too bad I'm not going to join that war either. So, 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 suck my balls, Cindy's. Wait, no, you're not Cindy's. Hang on, what is the Russian state? Aren't they like, actually, no, aren't they the same as me? Hey, national populists! Hey, you guys are doing great! I totally respect what you're doing, you know? I, I feel you, I feel you, man, I feel you. I get you. We're doing the same thing, right? Two birds of, uh, you know, one feather, you know how it is? Alright, lovely. How did the Italians. But what? Oh. Oh, they're a puppet of Hungary. 
Well, okay then. As is Austria. Okay then. As is Slovenia. Indeed it is. Strange little world you set up here, uh, Hungary. What's like, hang on, what's happened with the Serbians? Oh, they've got the Belgrade Pact. Oh, I still don't think they're going to beat... Oh, no, they probably will actually beat the Hungarian... Oh. It'll be a close fight. It'll be a close, close fight, because the Hungarians have their uh, their puppets, don't they? Yeah. Who's got Albania? No one? No one? Okay, well, there's no fighting over Albania. Let's see, what are we going to go for? Could go for more of that. I think we just want to go for more bloody building and construction shit. Just actually, like, get a fucking functional army. Like, we're actually, we're not too bad on army-wise, but it's mostly shit we started with. Like, actual equipment we still have to build, we just have none of it. Also, manpower is, um... To say it's, um, taken a hit is, uh, is a bit of a... Bit of an understatement. But, hang on a second. Uh-oh. No! Oh, shit. Right, well that was ridiculous. I had to reinstall Hearts of Iron, except I didn't actually have to do it and I found the solution to the crashes. Anyway, let's uh, keep playing the music. And I was trying to play some bloody uh, Star Trek game I downloaded on my phone. Lovely. No, 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 we need, we need some happiness. Where's, where's my... Did they remove fucking... No! What mod has gotten rid of fucking... Uh, where is it? Uh, the happy songs. They legitimately... What the fuck? What mod has done this? Fucking, what is, what is the song names? How am I blanking on this? Bloody, um, Man on the British Countryside, and fucking, what was the other one? Um, Lately I've been staring at the stars above, yeah. What the, what is the name of that other song? I've already forgot, it's like, oh, it's Dance the Night Away, isn't it? Yeah, I can't remember the name of it, though. What the fuck, those were good songs, you cunts! Better not have been Kaiser Act that got rid of it, because that's just a dick fucking move. Dickheads. Alright, back to the Waking the Tiger music, because this shit's good. Anyway, that took an excessive amount of time. It's now been like an hour trying to fix that shit. I don't know what was causing it, but something caused a crash. And apparently that's a... The way, okay, the way you solve a crash it like that, the way you solve a crash a certain day, you change your autosave to daily, you get up to the day of the save, and then you just... Load the save, crash, load the save, crash, and just repeat until it stops crashing. That's how you fix it. It's an excellent and smooth and totally not time-consuming fix. Anyway. Replace our ambassador to Germany. Oh, nice. We replaced with a close friend of DeGrell. Beautiful. I bet he's going to be better than anything they've come up with. So the Ruskies are now at war, are they? Or no, they're preparing to go to war. I guess they got their goal and then just didn't use it. Ah, uh, Kerensky. Wait, doesn't he die? No, yeah, he, of course he does. That's why, that's why it, uh, that's why it starts. Um, I've actually... I've never really looked at the Russian tree too much. Germany is busy, demand concessions. Nice. They have a really big, uh, bottom tree, though. Like, yeah, I was, I was looking at the... Okay, back at the German tree. I think I was looking at that earlier, and then I sort of skipped past for some reason. There's really only just, like, sort of two paths you can go, isn't there? I mean, there's not even really two paths. It's this one. Oh, no, I guess. I guess there's two paths, but either way, you sort of go women's suffrage. Yeah. No, sorry, with women's suffrage. Uh, either way, you either sort of go. F <laughs> either way, you go women's suffrage. Generally seen as a good thing. I was more referring to either way, you go democratic. Um. I guess down here is the difference, maybe? I'm not quite sure. I should actually play Germany sometime. I've never played Germany in Kaiserreich. That could actually do for their uh, for good old game. What with the new updates and shit? There might be some fun things to do. Rexist corporatism. Lovely. It has become clear that a traditional capitalism is a failure that should be replaced by a better economic model. That's right. The corporations to run everything. Triple A. Oh, yeah. Let's get... Um... Oh, oh boy. It's, it's touchy McTouchy face. Let's get him out of here. I don't want him here anymore. We've almost reached peak Belgium. Yes. 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 Then somebody needs to make a mod so that, uh, uh, it's called Leander Girl is also the head of military intelligence. Oh, if only. If only. I think fake... Okay, look, this is just DeGrell in a disguise, all right? Look at it. Look at it. You can't tell the difference. I mean, well, you can because he's in disguise, but, you know, if he took the disguise off, you couldn't tell the difference because he'd be DeGrell. Oh, boy, I'm confused. All right, let's see. Oh, shit. What? What the fuck? I've gotten a bunch of anti-tank models from somewhere. What? Where did I get all these? Hang on. Whose anti-tank guns are these? Can I see? No? 
What flag is that that I'm equipped? Hang on. Oh, maybe I'll go. Maybe I go into like a division. Hang on. No, you guys are equipped. You, okay, yeah, you guys. What the fuck do these? Is that like Galaxia Lom uh, Lomradi or whatever? Isn't that their? F no. Whose flag is it? Oh, oh, it's Flanders Wallonia, right? Of course, because I'm not actually Flanders Wallonia anymore, right? Which is why it looks like stolen equipment. I was really confused as to how I got all this stolen equipment, or even just you know lend leased equipment, but you know, steely, steely. Hey, uh, Germany, can I not request on? Oh, it'd be at war, right? Obviously. Um, hmm. Jesus. All right, that was a little bit fucking. I don't wake up call there. That noise. Oh, well, God, let's uh, let's get some bloody research on. In the meantime, let's have a quick chat about the new com uh, upcoming update, which is referred to as Ironsides, and oh fucking boy, do I hope they make a fun Navy combat. Because, like, right now, I was actually I was actually playing some Shogun 2, which I might do a video on at some point, and I was just actually, like, enjoying the Naval combat. Like, man, like, I, I get, obviously, completely different style of Naval combat. I'm like, it'd be nice to just actually even remotely respect navies in Hoi 4. Like, right now, submarines are actually pretty strong because of their ability to completely cut off supply into an area, but it's still very weird the way it works. And at the end of the day, it feels like submarines, to, uh, to begin with, submarines don't feel like they're invis- like, the main role of submarines is not to be seen, and it feels like they do a terrible job of that. Like, they always get seen, which is, uh, maybe it's just because I don't upgrade my submarines enough, I don't know, it, it just feels really weird. It feels like they just feel like shitter fleets. And, obviously, battleships are the current meta, but still, four carriers are the best things in the world. Getting those carriers in really strong, um, because they can auto-crit everything. Super heavies, I think, if I recall rightly, um, if you look at battleships, right, essentially, a battlecruiser can't hurt a battleship except with criticals, and a battleship can't hurt a super heavy battleship except with criticals, right? But, so it's basically only, ships can only hurt their class and below, if I recall right, like, generally, like, uh, on equal footing, right? So, like, a... Uh, Battleship 2 and a Super Heavy 1, as far as I'm aware, um, which basically means that Super Heavies need to be crit by other ships, but the thing is, uh, fighters and bombers can always crit ships, like, that, that's, they always deal crit damage, if I, if I, I believe that's how someone explained it to me once, again, I just don't care enough about Navy to look into this shit, I just, and the problem is death stacking Navy, you just death stack Navy, but then again, I also don't want to see them be like, well, there's now a naval limit. Nah, you need to put 20 ships in a, in a, under an admiral or else he gets penalties. Because then you know what's going to happen? No division limit, part two, naval boogaloo. Because oh, no. fuck me, this is a poor choice. Like, it's not even just like the division limits necessarily that like the worst part. It's how annoying it is to split up divisions and the poor choices and like ev everything about the fucking field marshal system is just shit. I don't think I'm ever going to use it unless they majorly change it. It's just such a poor design decision. Like, god, everything about it is... Ugh. Ugh. So bad. But yeah. I don't know, I just... It feels like there needs to be some more solutions. They need to make the naval combat more... F just fun, I guess. And in they, they need to make it interesting. It's so hard to see what's happening at all times. It's hard to be invested in it, unlike in your actual lines, where you're like, desperately... You can't really make commands to change naval combat as well. There's no skill to naval combat like there is to land combat, and hell, even air combat has some small amount of skill to it, where you've got to, like, figure out where to place your air units, you've got to provide them buffs and shit, whereas naval units, it's basically just jump on and win. Alright, the Walloon Ultimatum. Let's fucking do this shit, and let's save up just in case we actually have to fight the Germans. I hope not. Alright, here we go. This will actually probably be the end of the episode, so fuck, we won't even get to war until part three. My apologies, I had to make so- I had to, like, make su uh, such a big break for the bloody, uh, what do you call it? For the crash to fix that, uh, I may have slightly run out of time. Oh wait, we got some new boys, nice. That means we're actually fixing our, uh, production problems. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, we're actually building an tank now, nice! Soon enough we'll produce everything we need, including the light tank destroyers. Oh boy. We actually got a pretty good fucking army going on, don't we? So hang on, how much, uh... What do you guys got? Oh, you got 15! Wait, hang on, where are the 15 boys? Okay, there's four here. Three here, that's seven. Nine. Oh! Oh, they're gonna be... Oh, they're in my fucking land! Oh, this is gonna be awkward. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is gonna be awkward. They're actually in my fucking forts. Um... I mean, it means... Or not. That too. <laughs> I thought we'd finally have a battle. 
Demand our rightful land. Do we, um... Do we get anything from that? No? Okay, ooh! Here we go, so... Finally, the Flemish lands are back under our control and popular opinion has requested us to redeclare the nation of Flanders Wallonia. We could also, however, leave the Flemish to their own state under the guidance under our guidance, of course. Oh no, 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 no. Reform Flanders Wallonia. I like the cock wallon, but no, 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 no. Reform Flanders Wallonia! <gasps> it's beautiful. It's not actually called Flanders Wallonia, though, it's just called Wallonia, and it's got the Rex's flag! Oh boy! Wow! <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy! Oh, your face! Oh no! Attention. Next time, everyone, we shall enjoy a nice little invasion of the Netherlands. It's time to leave you now, how? Now, how, how, forever, wow. I'm so <laughs> His fucking face. Oh, oh my god, I got more divisions. Well then, let's uh, split our boys off, form up an army. Get ready to go. Oh, we got some boys back as well. We got the Hidden Sympathies guy back again. Lovely, I'm glad he came back with us. Beautiful, you're an excellent lad. Question is, do we get the decisions again? No, we don't. Do we get any sort of... Uh... Nope, okay. Well, I guess we're just going to have to go make our own walls now. Alright, everyone. Until next time, farewell. Farewell.